Today was an absolute pleasure. I mean, it really was. So many brewers, I think, start and cut their teeth on something of this size, whether, you know, they start home brewing and then usually go to a brew pub scale. Um, not too many people go from a home brew scale or, or something that small to a, a 50 to 200 barrel system. So to kind of go back to my roots a little bit was an absolute pleasure. And I think the brew day was very successful. Yeah, and to see James excited, because I always, I always <laughs> think of, of, of my system like a homebrew, you know, a grown-up homebrew system, uh, very, uh, very labor-intensive and hands-on, which I personally like, and it seems yeah. like you, you oh, get yeah. in charge of it too, but, uh, but to see him uh, get charged about it is uh, pretty cool, so yeah, man, thanks. Yeah, cheers, cheers yeah, absolutely. It's the same recipe, it just scaled for the different size systems, really. The only difference is we, we tried to make the batch here a bit stronger, in, in, uh, or the potential to be stronger because of the fact that the beer out in Victory benefited from bourbon barrel aging. The final gravity we're looking for after post-boil is uh, around 22, 23 Play-Doh. And uh, so we're gonna, gain, we're gonna gain some points uh, in the boil through evaporation. So let's see where this guy is, it's pretty hot. Yeah, it's cool the, the the beer we're making today will be on tap side by side with the you know the the beer made at Victory uh, near the end of uh, November. Yeah. So that kind of kind of be cool. Yeah. See, uh, you know, the same recipe brewed on two different systems again with different different uh, treatment um, post fermentation. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's gonna be cool. Yeah. So this is a cool site. It's probably be like usually like my grain beds like here. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's pretty impressive. 765 pounds, which yeah. is a typical seven barrel batch for me is probably around 400, 450 pounds. So, yeah. A little bigger. Definitely try to push the system to get, you know, some really high OG out of it. So we'll see what we end up with here. Yeah. But it should be pretty big. <laughs> I, I mean, it's been, it's been much fun for me. I, I uh, well, you know, being out of victory has been a... Uh, been a joy because you know it's just a thrill to be out there brewing and you know seeing how things happen on a larger scale but uh also being involved with james he's a you know obviously pretty passionate brewer and uh talking about beer and such has been a lot of fun yeah you should, i use my knee okay. kind of push it there you go so like that's it oh yeah there you go it's all on the knee <laughs> I mean, we started talking in February, and now we're at the end of October. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. I mean, the first batches that go through our system were in March. Uh, it was the, was the first time we brewed out there. Yeah. And then started filling bourbon barrels at the end of April, um, filled some more in July. And now that that project's coming to an end, we're almost ready to extract from those barrels to, to come here and, and brew it. Um, Unburden barrel age version has been uh, kind of the full circle of this project until we're ready to extract from the bourbon and, and of course bottle and keg both.